Hey, what's up? I'm Damien. I'm a photographer and videographer from Switzerland, and I recently got back from the Lofoten Islands in Norway, where I took a bunch of photos. Today, I'll be teaching you how to create a gloomy effect in your images using Luminar Neo. We'll go through a few powerful tools I use all the time to build atmosphere, guide the light, and shift the overall tone of a photo. And in this video, I'll edit one of my favorite pictures from the trip taken above a beautiful valley with a few lakes. So that being said, let's jump directly in the edit tab. I'm starting in the develop tab to get a good base. I'm bringing down the exposure and the smart contrast slightly to around minus 20. And bring up the shadows. And I'm gonna bring down the highlights as well. Now let's make the temperature of our image a bit cooler and bring down the saturation slightly. And then the vibrance back up around 5. And next up is where the magic happens. So we will go in the relight tool, the relight AI tool. It's a really great tool for shifting the light balance. And I'm gonna use it to lighten the near part of the image to our subject and darken the far background of the image. It's seeing your image in 3D and it just looks super nice once you know how to use it. So then I'm gonna adjust the depth slider of our image to really control which part of the image we are affecting with the brightness near and brightness far sliders. All right, looks great. Now one of the most important part, the masking. So let's go back in develop tab, create a liner gradient on the bottom part of the image. And we will simply lower the exposure, add some contrast and lower the shadows to really bring more attention towards our subject, the center of the image. Now let's go back in the develop tab, back in masking. Let's create another liner gradient mask on the sky. Let's bring down the exposure, add some contrast and bring down the shadows and saturation as well. And this is the before after. And just like that, we have a nice dramatic look in the sky. Perfect for our gloomy effect. So let's go back in develop tab again create another mask this time on the part of the image where the sun hits and let's bring up the exposure bring down the smart contrast and slightly the whites as well now back again back in masking and another mask in the same place but this time bigger and again bring the exposure back up and this is before after and just like that we center the attention to the center of our image and added a soft nice look to the part where the sun hits so now let's go in the Atmosphere AI tool, a really great tool to add mist or froggy vibes to your image, and it will really help us get a softer look for the gloomy effect. So here, let's create a mask on the part of the image where the sun hits, and let's select my personal favorite, fog. Let's put around 15, and bring down the depth slider to keep some nice details in the shadows. Great, so finally, let's go in the Color Harmony tab, another super powerful tool. So let's create a mask on the center of our image to affect the part where we want to draw attention to. And I'm gonna bring some colors back into that area using the brilliant slider and then use the color contrast slider by selecting a color hue to shift the tone slightly away from orange and give the image a more balanced, desaturated feel. Awesome, so now let's balance the tone using a tone curve light tool built into Luminar. So we'll bring some color tones into that same part of the image. So let's do that in the shadows, highlights and midtones. Then let's go back in the color harmony tab and create another mask, this time only affecting the sky. And I'm gonna bring the brilliance down quite a bit, around minus 50 to desaturate the colors in the sky and give it a more moody, muted look. Let's go in the color tab to nail our desaturated tones. So let's open HSL and go into the U tab first. Then we're gonna bring down slightly the yellows and oranges to have a more reddish look and bring down the blue and cyan colors towards a more teal color. Now let's open up saturation and simply lower the oranges, yellows and blues. We can bring up slightly the cyan color because it's the color of the lake, so it's nice to bring back some colors here. And next up is the mystical tool, and this is the tool that will make us nail the gloomy effects. So let's first create a radial mask around our subject. So by adjusting this amount slider, you will be able to give a really dreamy look to your image in just one click. And we will put around 45. Looks good. Now let's bring down the shadows slightly to keep some details in the mountain. And as you can see, we get a really nice glowy look in the highlights of our image. And this is already looking pretty good. So let's go back in the mystical tool. And this time we will affect the entire image just to really nail this effect. And that's it. Now to finish things off, I like to add a small vignetting to our image. So what vignetting does is it lightens or darkens the edges of your image. So here we will darken them slightly. Let's go around minus 41 looks great. This is before after. And lastly, let's go in the structure AI tool and bring it down very slightly to get a softer look in the details of the image. 
So that's how I created the gloomy effect in this photo using just a few key tools inside Luminar Neo. The workflow is pretty quick and the AI tools make it really easy to build atmosphere and shift the overall mood of the image. And if this video was helpful, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment or subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.